clicking on this video. Today I am going to talk to you a little bit about asexuality as well as aromanticism and I will be referring to two articles on Psych2Go.net called The Asexual Orientation by Heather Rayburn as well as Asexuality, Romantic, Aromantic, and Everything in Between by Casey Hidalgo. So if you don't know what asexuality is already, according to asexuality.org, asexuality is someone that doesn't experience any sexual attraction. But just because someone doesn't necessarily feel the attraction doesn't mean that they can't have sex or engage in sexual activities. As well as, it's not like they can't engage in romantic relationships either. That would be with aromantic people. Aromantics have no desire for romantic relationships. However, just because someone has no desire for romantic relationships doesn't mean that they can't form other relationships like platonic relationships or relationships with their family. They're just not interested in maintaining a relationship that has to deal with romance. As it's still a very vague concept on, is it considered an actual orientation? Some people believe that it's not an orientation at all. They believe that it's a gender identity disorder called hypoactive sexual desire disorder or HSDD. There are a number of different studies that try to divulge deeper into the idea of asexuality. One such study decided that they were going to divulge a little bit deeper into asexuality by polling 102 individuals online that identified as asexual. Through this, they were able to divide and categorize asexual people as being aromantic and romantic. If a person says that they're straight, it usually is implied that they're both heterosexual and heteroromantic. Similarly, if a person identifies as gay, they're believed to be homosexual and homoromantic. But the thing with asexuality, as well as any other sexuality or romantic orientation, is that you can be asexual and you can be panromantic or you could be demisexual and you could be biromantic. There's lots of different mixes and matches that you can be from your sexual orientation and your romantic orientation. I think generally the idea of asexuality and aromantics is very foreign. When you look into society and you turn on the radio or you turn on the television, there's a lot a lot a lot of songs and tv shows and movies that are all about romance and you know the guy w gets with the girl or the guy actually loves the guy in the end but doesn't really like the girl or you know songs about sex but society pounds that into you and makes you feel like you need to like this stuff you know you want to get married you want to have relationships with people and you want to cuddle and hold hands and spend Valentine's Day with your boyfriend or your girlfriend, but not everyone's like that. And because of that, and because of the way that society pounds this onto you, a lot of aces and arrows tend to believe that they are broken, something's wrong with them, which is definitely not the case. The other problem, of course, is a lot of people confuse asexuality with celibacy. Celibacy is a choice that people make not to have sex. So first of all, I want to ask you, have you ever heard of asexuality? Have you ever heard of aromantics? And if you have, has it been out of the idea of like trees being asexuals? The other question that I want to ask Arrow and Aces is, before you knew that you were asexual or aromantic, did you believe that you were heterosexual and heteroromantic? due to heteronormativity. Comment below, like this video, give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Comment, subscribe, follow us on our social media sites, Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr. And if you have any questions, I will try and get back to you. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.